Okay, in this video, we're going to make a diagram of all the four layers of the rainforest. So what you need is a piece of paper. I've cut a A4 piece of paper into four sections, into quarters. So it's A6 size. And because there are four layers, we will need to split it. So we're going to fold it in half like that. So now we've got two layers. So we're going to split this section in half, which will be the forest floor and then the under canopy. And then this in half, we've got the emergent layer and then the canopy, under canopy, forest floor. Now, if your paper's doing that like mine is, you turn it over and just fold it again along the same lines. And then it should lie reasonably flat. So, I'm going to start, move this out of the way so you can see better. I'm going to start with the emergent layer. Now, in the emergent layer, you can only see the tops of the trees. So, I might just put a few branches and then a big tree there. And I might do maybe just the top of this tree and maybe a whole bit of tree there. And then that's it. The canopy layer, which is this layer, is where it's most full of trees. So you wouldn't be able to see any sky at all. I am going to just extend this branch a little bit, but then another tree is going to get in the way. And finish off this nice bushy tree. I might put another tree in between there. Maybe another tree there. So it should be completely green. You can't see any trunks because there's other trees in the way. Another big tree, maybe you can see a tiny bit of a trunk there, but then it's covered by this tree. Like that. Okay, so that's the canopy done. So we've got the emergent layer, canopy. Now this is the under canopy, so you will see underneath the leaves of these trees. I'm just going to finish off my trees that I started and then you will get all of the trunks of the trees and maybe some branches and another bit of, of a trunk in the distance there this one's got a trunk and maybe this one that's from the canopy comes down and gives some branches out Here we go, this one, branch it out. So there is the under canopy. And then the last layer is the forest floor. So we need to finish off those trunks, go right down to the bottom, maybe start drawing some roots, those big roots that you often see. Or you can just sort of finish the trunk off like that. This one's just going to be in the distance there. There we go. And I might do some ferns, some bushes on the bottom of the forest floor. Just like that. Okay, but there's not much. It's very dark and muddy at the bottom. Okay. So now I've drawn out all four of my layers. I've got my emergent layer at the top, the canopy, the understory, and then the forest floor. So then you might like to colour it in. And I've got some uh, chalk pastels here, which are great because you can just put a little bit of colour on. You don't need to worry too much about getting close to the lines and then use your finger to smudge it. 
But of course, if you don't have chalk pastels, you can use your normal colouring pencils, or you could use felt tips, maybe even paint. Put some more down here. You might decide to do some shading when you get to the canopy because it's getting quite busy. So some of the trees might sort of be um, blocking the other trees. So you might decide to make those trees a little bit darker along the tops of them maybe. There we go. And now I'm on to the trunks of the tree. So I need some brown and black. Well, a little bit of black that I'm just going to do is a bit of shading. I'm not putting too much on, just maybe one line each. And then some brown. And the plan is to smudge them together. Might even want to do some yellow some lighter colors to um, show that some sunlight is trying to come through with a bit of dappled sunlight So there we go, I have my trees, my rainforest layers. You might choose if you've got a thin black to maybe outline what you have drawn just to make it stand out a bit more. Or you can just leave it as it is. 